Hi, I'm Glenn Forrester. I'm the Technical Marketing Specialist for BASF Fungicides based in Western Canada. Lance Fungicide from BASF is the sclerotinia specialist for both your canola as well as your pulse crops. In canola, sclerotinia is one of the most devastating diseases in Western Canada. With tighter canola rotations and increased high moisture conditions during that critical period of flowering, we've seen an increase in sclerotinia pressures in Western Canada over the past few years. An unprotected crop can have yield losses of greater than 50%. There are a number of risk factors that are associated with sclerotinia development. The best application of a fungicide is a preventative application. So as a grower, when you're looking at spraying and making that decision to spray a crop, you have to take a look at what the conditions were prior to the spray and also what is the condition of your crop. When I'm looking at the risk factors associated with sclerotinia in your canola crop, I look at four key factors. Moisture, temperature, crop density, and rotation. The first factor that we look at is moisture. The higher the moisture that you have prior to that flowering stage of canola, the greater the increased risk of sclerotinia can be. When scouting your canola crop, here's a quick tip. If you're walking your fields in the early morning or late evening, and you come out with wet pants from the dew, these are key conditions for sclerotinia development. The next factor we take a look at is temperature. Sclerotinia grows and, and develops ideally under 15 to 25 degrees Celsius. Even if it's really hot during the day, these are temperatures that we commonly see both morning and night throughout Western Canada. The third fact we take a look at is canopy conditions. The greater the density of the canopy, or the nicer the crop looks, the higher the level of pressure that can occur and your greater chance for sclerotinia. So you really want to protect those high dense canopies and high yield potential crops. The fourth fact we want to look at is rotation. The tighter your rotation between canola crops or other host crops for sclerotinia, the greater your risk for infection will be. The key to control sclerotinia is proper timing of your fungicide application. Ideally, you want to spray your lance fungicide at 20 to 30% bloom. Spraying at this stage will allow you to have the highest level of sclerotinia control in your canola crop. To properly assess the timing of your lance fungicide, you want to go out and assess 10 to 25 plants in a row. On those 10 to 25 plants that you assess, the average amount of flowers on the main stem should be around 15 to 20 flowers. You want to spray your lance fungicide prior to any petal drop of the canola flower. Over the past decade in both our research plots and our grower trials, Lance has consistently provided the highest level of sclerotinia control and the greatest yield increase in canola. Based on our research at BASF, we recommend a Preaxor application at the six leaf stage to increase overall yield production and then protect that investment and spray your Lance fungicide at that 20 to 30% stage for sclerotinia control. Here at BASF, we continue to invest in research to control sclerotinia in Western Canada. Lance consistently provides best-in-class sclerotinia control in canola. BASF, the chemical company.